Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at the most important Power BI interview questions and answers. Now I have had a vote from you guys where you guys wanted me to go ahead and make a video on Power BI interview questions and answers and hence this video. So the first interview question is what is the difference between a slicer and a filter? Now a slicer remember is an user friendly way of filtering the data by a dimensional column. Okay. Uh, a, a slicer is also as you know it is a visualization and they help us to do edit interaction now we will see these three scenarios first so let me go to the practical example so guys when we talk about slicers it is actually one of the visualizations available under the visualization pane this is a slicer so we'll go ahead and bring the slicer to our report page okay so this is going to be a slicer now we generally add a dimensional column to a slicer generally so what that what that means is you have to come to a dimension so this is my dim geography right and then i'll choose my dimensional column which is english country region name once i choose it you will see the textual values over here this is what a slicer actually does so we will put these countries under the slicer so you have australia canada france germany uk and us right these are the values now the third point so two points we have covered over here, right? User friendly way of filtering the data and this is also a visualization. The third point is related, uh, is related to edit interaction. Now edit interaction is another very important question which we also will be seeing in our list of questions as well uh, below. So what happens in edit interaction is let's say you do not want this particular filter, you know, this particular guy. If I choose one particular value, if I choose Australia, all the values will be filtered for Australia. Then if I choose, let's say, Australia and Canada, so two values, right? All the three you know, charts are being filtered for two values. Now if I choose France, so three values are being added now. Again, Germany, four values are being added now for all, th all these things. But let's say if I want this particular visual, which is the last visual, the bar chart, to always give all the six values, one, two, three, four, five, six, so six countries are there. I want this always to give six values irrespective of whatever filtering I'm doing from the slicer then there is something called as an edit interaction where you will find it you have to go to format and then go to edit interaction right so on top of each and every visual you will find these two things right this by default is the filter which is why it is getting filtered by I do not want anything so you will click over here called none once you will select the slicer by the way you have to select the slicer and then click on none so what will happen always the six values will get shown in the third visual now if i go out of the edit interaction mode and let's say if i choose only one value right or two values australia and canada look the third value still is this giving me six values if i choose france also then also it is two uh, uh, it is six values right for the third visual so that means irrespective of whatever i choose you will always get six values all the values in the third visual so this is known as edit interaction this is one of the most important interview questions remember this now so what do we mean by filters we have seen what is a slicer uh, one important thing about slicer is you know this particular page when you will go ahead and publish this in power bi service what will happen by default the user will be able to see this visual the slicer visual on the power bi service itself right but this filters now the one that we are discussing this filter pane if you guys want since you will be the developer if you want you can hide the entire pane itself they won't be the end user won't be able to see the filter pane itself okay there is an option available so that's why slicers are called they are more suited for the end user because the end user can go ahead and choose the values from the slicers but mostly the uh, the developer will control the filter pane now let us see what we have written over here filters they are designed as a tool for developers to configure visual right because you will be as a developer responsible to choose what kind of filters are applicable for your report or visuals they can also be hidden from the end user in power bi service as i showed you there is an option over here to hide if you hide this this particular entire filter pane won't be visible for the end user now let us go to the next question which is how many kind of filters are there in power bi so 
as evident there are three kinds of filters actually visual level filter page level filter and report level filter let us see all these three kind of filters in detail so for this what i will do is i'll choose one particular visual over here once you select the visual after that you will be able to see these options filters on this visual right filters on this page and filters on all pages as the name suggests if you want any filter to apply only for this visual then you will select that particular filter from here right so now since i have filtered australia and canada so these two values are coming in so let me first of all unfilter so you will see all the values if I, you have to choose the visual by the way so once i choose the visual i'll see all these particular values let's say i want always this particular guy to be filtered by australia so always this particular uh, filter will be applied and this changes the color to gray okay so that you are aware that this particular visual is having a filter which is applied so this is visual level filter which is only for this particular visual okay now i'm clearing that particular thing now the as the name suggests if i give a filter on all pages uh, on this page so filters on this page means if you drag and drop this particular country over here in filters in this page and do it for australia so what happens no matter what you do always australia is selected for all these visuals this is filter this is the option of filters on this page so the filter is going to apply for the entire page and on all the visuals but only for page one remember now let me go ahead and remove this filter as well so the third level is obviously filters on all pages if you drag and drop the country what will happen uh, let's go to page two also you see page two also is having similar kind of visuals page three is also having similar kind of visuals but if i go ahead and drag and drop this country to filters on all pages so let's go ahead drag and drop this country and select it to let's say canada what will happen in page one only canada values are there in page two also you will have only canada values look country region name equal to canada in page three also you will have only canada this is filter on all pages ka option okay now let me go back to page one let me go ahead and clear out the filter on all pages so i hope this is dead clear to you what is the difference between a slicer and a filter as evident the filters are mainly controlled by a developer right we have seen how many kinds of filters are there in power bi as well now one thing sometimes the interviewer might tell you that okay no no we do not have three levels of filters we have four levels of filters in that case what you can do is there is something known as a drill through filter okay so you can tell the interviewer that yes we can if you want there is also a drill through which is possible from one page to another using this drill through filter this is the fourth level of filter also available in power bi now let's go to the next question which is what options will you use if you do not want your slicer to filter a visual this we have already discussed this is edit interaction right so next question is what are sync slicers now this is a very very important interview questions and you will find it uh, if you are like having a development experience of five to eight years also in power bi this is a question which will be asked by any interviewer at any moment like you should be aware of this so what do you mean by sync slicers as i told you there are filters which can be applied in all the pages but let's say i want to apply a filter only on some specific pages let's say i want that filter to be applied on page one over here and on page three over here so as you uh, as you can see page three does not have any filter right now so what i will do i'll go to page one i'll copy this particular slicer okay go to page three i've done a control c i'll just click on over here and do a control v so it will paste the slicer but it will also give me a pop-up message as soon as you paste it what is that one or more of the copied visuals can stay in sync with this visual it was copied from do you want to keep this in sync that means it's asking whether you want to sync the slicers between page one and page three if i click on sync let's see what happens okay i right now the slicer is filtered on australia in page three as well as in page one look i am going to page one now it is sliced sliced on australia if i change this to canada in page one look it is changed for page one let us go to page three now see automatically this changes to canada if i change this to france in page three 
and go back to page one, you will find France selected in page one also. So whatever you will do in one page, automatically it will be mirrored or synced in the other page as well, nothing else. So this is known as sync slicer. Hope you are dead clear with this option as well. Where you, where you can find the sync slicer option, there is something called view. And under view, you have all these options. One of the options is sync slicers. If you click on sync slicers, the sync slicers pane will be available. You have to select that particular slicer and this will show you on what pages this has this this particular slicer has been synced. So this is page one in yellow and page three in yellow. Okay, now let's move to the next question. How many kinds of filters are there for string values? So the answer is advanced filtering, basic filtering and top end filtering. Now let us take a look at all these three. First of all, I'll come to page one. I'll just cross the sync slicer page or I can even remove it from here as well. Okay, so I will minimize all my pages. Okay, now let me select my slicer. Okay, now let me open the filters. So the question is how many kind of filters? Let me go ahead and read the question for you. So it is how many kind of filters are there for string value? So obviously this is a dimension or a string value. So let us find out how many kind of filters are there, right? So over here, if you just hover around this arrow, if you click this, this is the filter type, right? So as evident, if you choose this, there are three kind of filtering, advanced, basic and top n. If I choose advanced, it will say it will have many options. So let's say if I give you one of the options called contains. So if you want your slicer to begin with the word CA, right, or rather contain the word CA. So I'm hinting towards Canada, right? It, no other things has got this CA thing. If I click on apply filter, what will happen? Automatically Canada will come. Why France is also coming? Because France you have already selected. So if I deselect this, you see only Canada is there. So this is the option called advanced filtering. Okay. Now let us go ahead. Uh, let me go ahead and first of all erase this clear filter. There's an option called clear filter. I'll clear the filter. Now if I go ahead and choose the second option, which is basic filtering, it is the simplest of filtering. Whatever values you are having here, the same values you'll be able to see over here as well. So if you want, you can choose specific options, Canada, France, Germany. So only Canada, France, Germany, you'll be able to see in the slide. So this is basic filtering. I'll clear this as well. Now let us go to top N. Now top N is based on, let's say you want to see the top three countries based on sales, right? Sales, profit, all these numerical thing will also come into existence. So for that, what you have to do, you have to fill over here. What is the top N that you need? So I've, over here, I need the top three. What? I need the top three countries based on what? Based on my sales. So I'll go over here. I'll drop, drag and drop my sales amount over here. Right, so automatically if I click on apply filter, so these are the three guys, Australia, United Kingdom and United States, which are having the top three sales, okay? So I hope you are dead clear with this example as well. Moving on to the next question, it is how many kind of filters are there for numerical values? Now, so the next question is how many kind of filters are there for numeric values for this? Obviously, under there will be advanced filtering, there will be basic filtering, there will be top n. But under advanced filtering, you will be finding these options in the numeric values. Less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, is, is not, blank, is not blank. So over here, what we can do is, just to show you as an example, if I go ahead and bring a slicer again, okay, and give any numeric value, let's say I want to give... Mm, sales amount right so we have been using sales amount let's let's use this by default you will get a range okay over here and what you can do is after you have selected go over there if I just just do a zoom control one you see this particular sales amount is there filters on this visual so what I have to do I will just click on this drop down and I'll find the option so under advanced filtering right now you see the, these are the options that I am having under advanced filtering right so remember this, you are using numeric values, you are getting these kind of options, is less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, and these things, right? So I can go ahead, if I want the uh, uh, particular value to be greater than, uh, let's say 10, so I'll select is greater than, then I'll write over here 10, right? So I'll select greater than, and I'll write over here 
one zero right and my filter values will be filtered automatically after applying filter next is we are having basic filtering under basic filtering as i have explained earlier you will have only the unique values that are coming from this particular slicer over here right the last is top n right so you can even choose although it does not make any sense over here the top n makes more sense when you are using a dimensional column over here right because you need the top three countries over here if i say i need the top three sales based on again you have to give a numeric value which is sales okay it does not make sense but the option is there which you can use okay so just keep that in, keep that in mind so guys uh, these are the most basic and very important interview questions that can be asked in any interview in power bi so make sure that you uh, prepare them i'll be giving this entire list in the description as well along with the power bi file and guys i'm doing a lot of hard work putting in a lot of effort for you guys so that we can bring in the best videos of power bi please encourage me by your subscription and show me some love by giving likes to the videos and whatever you know, issue that or challenges that you are facing i'll be more than happy to go ahead and resolve them so just give out a comment okay so that's it guys subscribe to power bi zone and have a nice day bye bye